Mic check one. Mic check one. Mic check two. Mic check two. Welcome to the first ever live broadcast of Lawton Football. I'm Eric Smith along with Mike Steffen. We are excited to have you along with us for the ride this evening. We will also have the golden voice of Tom Sturmer in the background on the PA call this evening as well. Also, we want to thank all the fans from Fenville listening in and watching with us this evening. Just a couple pregame notes here before kickoff. The Blue Devils last year had a perfect 9-0 regular season that included a conference division championship for the Blue Devils. The Blue Devils ended the year with a final record of 10-1, falling to Schoolcraft in the district final. A very strong showing there in Coach Waldrop's very first season with the Blue Devils. Although the Blue Devils did lose a couple key players to graduation, they do return a very solid group of seniors and juniors. For Fenville, they're coming off a 4-5 and five campaign last year. These two teams did meet last year in Week 7 at Fenville. Lawton walked away with a 50-7 victory on a pretty cold and wet night. We are approximately nine minutes from kickoff. We will be with you here soon. But my dad is 
Till the day he died And he took me by the hand Held me close to his side Said live a good life Company always on the run, a destiny. Oh, it's the rising sun. I was born a shotgun in my hands, behind the At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please stand as we pay respect and tribute to our country as well as the men and women of the United States military with the playing of tonight's national anthem.
and once again we welcome you to Lawton High School for the opening game of the 2020 season and we also welcome all those watching and listening to us via YouTube this evening as we get set for kickoff. Tonight's game is played according to the rules and regulations of the Michigan High School Athletic Association. Your officials for tonight's contest are Randy Hood, Jamie Riley, Jeff Riley, Cody Riley, and Charlie Westervelt. Fenville is coached by Kanan Groff, the head coach of the Blue Devils, is Wade Waldrop. It is 58 degrees as we get set for kickoff. The Blue Devils won the opening coin toss. They have elected to receive Fenville. will kick off to the Blue Devils to start the 2020 season. Deep to receive for the Blue Devils, 23 Cooper Guybe and 21 DJ Hearns. Kicking off for the Blackhawks, number two, Ben Peterson. are underway in the 2020 season. Kick return for the Blue Devils, number 23, Cooper Guybe. Guybe out beyond the 45 to about the 46-yard line. Tackle made by the kicker, number two, Ben Peterson. There was a fumble of the play recovered by the Blue Devils, number eight, Bryce Grinch, and Blue Devils on offense for the first time in 2020. They'll start first down and 10, make it the 47-yard line. At quarterback for the Blue Devils, number nine, Landon Motter. Landon Monner takes over quarterback position this year, replacing Dustin Noble, senior graduated last year. Landon Monner is a junior, played quarterback the last two seasons on JV. Monner hands to number 22, Jake Roof. Roof carries to the midfield stripe. Gain of about three on the play, second down and seven for the Blue Devils. Tackle made by number one, Dylan Scutt, and two, Ben Peterson. Blue Devils come on a straight T formation. Twenty-three Cooper Guy up the gut. That'll move the chains. It's a Blue Devil first down to the Fenville 42-yard line. Tackle by Ben Peterson. Jake Roof, the ball carrier, to the 35-yard line of the Blackhawks. Tackle by number four, Corey Cajas. Second down along three for the Blue Devils. Number 20, Carter Cosby, the ball carrier for the Blue Devils. Initial hit by number three, Brody Peterson. First down for the Blue Devils. First and 10 at the Fenville 31 yard line. Blue Devils moving quick offensively here, getting a great push off the offensive line here early on. Quick toss to number 22, Jake Roof. Roof near the 20 yard line. 
Tackle by number 70, Paul Anaya. At 11, Tyler Scutt. Nine-yard pickup, second and one. Handoff this time to the up back 23, Cooper Geib. Tackled by Dylan Scutt. No gain, third and one. Roof the ball carrier. Ahead for a Blue Devil first down. Tackle by 70, Anaya for the Blackhawks. First and 10 Blue Devils at the 16-yard line. Toss to number 20, Cosby for the Blue Devils. On the stop for the Blackhawks, Dylan Scutt. Two-yard pickup, second and eight at the 14-yard line. Guide the ball carrier. Tackled by 60, Uzi Delgado. Two-yard pickup, third and six, Blue Devils. Roof the ball carrier. Inside of the 10-yard line. Tackle by 70, Anaya. It'll be fourth down, fourth at about two for the Blue Devils at the Fenville eight-yard line. Big play early on here for the Blue Devils, fourth and two. Touchdown, Blue Devils! Number 22, Jake Root from eight yards out for the Blue Devil score. Two-point try falls incomplete. Correction, it is complete. Two-point conversion. Motto to number 44, Seth Barr, for the conversion try. Seven thirty-one to go in the opening quarter. The Blue Devils eight and Fenville zero. Nice opening drive there for the Blue Devils. Eleven plays, fifty yards, all on the ground, capped off by a Jake Roof eight-yard touchdown run. Big opening statement drive there for the Blue Devils. Jake Roof had six rushes for 33 yards on that drive. Cooper Guy, three for 11. And Kicking Carter off Cosby, for the Blue Devils, for number six. 47, Logan Knapp. 
Deep for the Blackhawks, number one, Dylan Scott, and three, Brody Peterson. Big return for the Blackhawks down the right sideline by number one, Dylan Scutt. And Fenville will start his first possession in Blue Devil territory. Tackled by number three, Connor DeVries for the Blue Devils. Fenville sets up its first possession at the Blue Devil 24-yard line. At quarterback for the Blackhawks, number two, Ben Peterson. Quarterback sack for the Blue Devils. Quarterback sack for big number 66, Evan Steffen. Lost in the play for Fenville. It'll be second down for the Blackhawks at the 30-yard line. Make it second and 16. Flag on the play. Call is going to be a false start against the Blackhawks. That'll back up Fenville five yards to the 35-yard line. Make it second down and 21 for the Blackhawks. Quarterback keeper, number two, Ben Peterson. Dragged down by DeVries for the Blue Devils. Eight-yard pickup. Third down and 13. And another sack for the Blue Devils. Credit the sack to 88 Mitchell. Along with three or four of the Blue Devils, it'll be fourth down. And the pass falls incomplete. Pressure applied in the Fenville backfield. And the defense holds. It will be Blue Devil football first down and 10. Great fourth down stop there. Evan, Evan Steffen providing the pressure off the edge. Turnover on downs. Lawton takes over on their own 35. Twenty-three Cooper guide the ball carrier on the sweep action. He'll pick up a Blue Devil first down beyond the 45 near the 47-yard line. Tackle by two Ben Peterson. 12-yard pickup, first down and 10. Lawton comes out in the gun on this next set here. Cooper guide straight up the gut, picks up 10. 
Blue Devils moving quick. Number nine, Landon Motter, the quarterback, the ball carrier into Fenville territory. Brought down by Corey Cajas and 13, Carlos Sanchez. Seven yard gain for the Blue Devils, second and three at the Blackhawk 46. Modest pass complete to number three, Connor DeVries, and a Blue Devil first down. Dragged down by Cajas for the Blackhawks. First down and goal, the nose of the ball just inside of the 10-yard line. Big pick up there for the Blue Devils. 34-yard completion from Motter to DeVries. Blue Devils, first and goal at the eight. Touchdown, Blue Devils. 10-yard touchdown run for number 22, Jake Roof. Forty-seven Logan Knapp for the extra point attempt. And the point after try is good. 409 to go in the first. The Blue Devils 15 and Fenville 0. Another impressive drive there for the Blue Devils, going five plays, 65 yards. Kicking it up again for off. the Blue Devils, kicking off 47, Logan Knapp. Capped off by a Jake Roof, eight-yard touchdown run. Deep to receive, Dylan Scott night. and Brody Peterson. Scott, the return man, another good return for the Blackhawks into Blue Devil territory. Fenville back on offense first and 10. Lawton tackle number 20, Carter Cosby. That is back to back. First and impressive. 10, this drive starts at the Lawton 46 yard line. Back to back, impressive kickoff returns for Fenville, setting up in good position again. We'll see if the Blue Devils can hold here again. Pass falls incomplete from Peterson. Pass intended for 11, Tyler Scutt. Defending for Lawton on the play, number 12, Jonathan Holloway. Incomplete pass, second down and 10.
Peterson's pass complete to another Peterson, Ben to Brody. Tackled by number eight, Gorenchen. First down for the Blackhawks. 12-yard pickup, first and 10 at the Blue Devil, 34-yard line. Pretty sure that was brother to brother there for a first down for Fenville. The Peterson brothers pick up a first down. Fenville moving into Blue Devil territory. Pass complete once again. Ben Peterson to Brody Peterson. Tackle by 22, Jake Roof. Good for another Fenville first down. Eleven yards on the Blackhawk pass play, first and ten at the 23. Fumble on the play, covered up by the Blackhawks. There will be a loss in the play. Loss of about three in the play, second and 13, Fenville. Quarterback sack for the Blue Devils. Big time play from Drew Steffen. Quarterback sack, 54. Edge. Drew Steffen blowing Peterson it up in the backfield. It'll be third and long loss. for the Blackhawks. Third down and 27 for the Blackhawks just outside of their 40-yard line. Number two, Ben Peterson on the quarterback keeper, upended by number three, Connor DeVries for the Blue Devils. Fourth down for the Blackhawks, call it fourth and 16. That'll, be, that'll bring up a big fourth down here for the Blackhawks. They put together a good little drive here. Fourth and 14, Peterson in the gun. Pass is incomplete, broken up by the Blue Devils. Defending in the secondary, DeVries and Holloway, incomplete pass. Blue Devil football, they'll take over on downs, first down and 10. Great job there by Jonathan Holloway, not letting the receiver get behind him. Makes a play on the ball while it's in the air. Turnover over on downs, Blue Devil ball. Hand off to Roof. Hit near the line by 74, Saul Carrizales. One yard pickup for Jake Roof, second down and nine, Blue Devils. Ball. 
Modders pass is picked off. Interception for Fenville. Interception for 17, Isaiah Strickfaden. Fenville back at offense now first down and 10 at the 40 yard line of the Blue Devils. Number one, Dylan Scutt, the ball carrier. Tackled for a big loss in the play by number 20, Carter Cosby, on what will be the final play of the first quarter. After one quarter from Lawton High School, the Blue Devils 15 and Fenville 0. Congratulations to the Lawton Blue Devils JV team as last night they opened their season with a 40-0 win over the Goebbels Tigers. Once again, congratulations to the Blue Devil JV team 40 to nothing winners over Goebbels Tigers last night. Pretty impressive opening quarter there for the Blue Devils. 15 rushes for 80 yards. Averaging 5.3 yards a carry for the Blue Devils on the ground. Motter had one completion for 36 yards to DeVries down the left sideline that set up that second Jake Roof touchdown. Blue Devils have 116 yards so far on the evening. Fenville have it. Fenville struggled a little bit on the ground. They have picked up a few yards through the air. Turnover battle. Lawton has one turnover on that last interception there by Strick Faden from Fenville. No turnovers yet for the Blackhawks. But the Blue Devils have definitely turned up the heat and been able to get to the Peterson, the quarterback, multiple times this evening and put Fenville on long down in distance. As we start the second quarter of play, it's Fenville football, second and 20 after the loss in the last play. The first quarter, second and 20 from the 50-yard line. Hand off to number one, Dylan Scutt. Tackle by number 12, Jonathan Holloway. Gain of 11, third and nine at the 39-yard line. Peterson's pass incomplete. Fourth down and nine for the Blackhawks.
And another sack for the Blue Devil defense. Half a sack each for 88 Chase Mitchell and 54 Drew Steffen. And once again, it's going to go back like to the Blue Devils. It'll be first down and 10 for Lawton. The there. After the Not quarterback sure sack, won. they'll start I'm the sure drive at about the 48-yard line. Quick toss to number 22, Roof. Zigzags away from a couple tacklers inside of the 40-yard line. Tackle by number three and four, Brody Peterson and Corey Callejas. Nine-yard gain, second and one. Modern screen pass complete to 23, Geib. First down, Blue Devils. Tackle by 13, Carlos Sanchez for the Blackhawks. 10-yard pickup on the Blue Devil pass play. First and 10 at the 27. Motter the ball carrier for the Blue Devils. Tackle by 60, Delgado. Nine yard pickup, second and one. Motter throws it away, incomplete pass. Third and short for the Blue Devils. Tenville brings a little pressure there. Motter heads up decision there, gets rid of it. Lives to fight another down here. Third and one Blue Devils. Quarterback keeper for Motter. And Landon Motter will pick up a Blue Devil first down. Tackle by number one Dylan Scutt and 11 Tyler Scutt. First down and goal at the 10-yard line for the Blue Devils. Touchdown for the Blue Devils. 10-yard touchdown run, 22, Jake Roof. Jake Roof from 10 yards out, his third of the night. Looks like the Blue Devils will go for two here instead of kick it this time. The 
The conversion try is good for the Blue Devils. Carried in by number nine, Landon Motter. And the Blue Devils extend their lead, 9-17 to go before the half. The score, the Blue Devils 23 and Fenville 0. Want to remind you fans that if you do leave the stadium under the new rules from the MHSA, you cannot re-enter. Once again, if you leave the stadium, you cannot re-enter into the ballgame. Kicking off again for Lawton, 47, Logan Knapp. That was a six-play, 40-yard drive for the Blue Devils, capped off by another Jake Roof touchdown. Onside kick recovered by Fenville at about the 48-yard line. Coming up for the Blackhawks by number 69, Adam Myers. And it'll be Fenville football. They start at their own 48-yard line. Looks like uh, the Blue Devils opted to go for the onside kick there, especially considering Fenville's had a bunch of success getting a great field position with their returns this evening. So the Blackhawks will take over on their own 48-yard line. Pressure applied to the backfield, and the pass from Peterson is incomplete. Intended for 11, Tyler Scutt, second down and 10. Just looking through local scores in the area right now, Schoolcraft leads Constantine 14-0 with 2.42 left in the first quarter. Incomplete. Third down and 10 for the Blackhawks. Peterson rolls left, throws it downfield, and it's broken up for the Blue Devils. Pass defended by 22, Jake Roof. Incomplete, fourth and 10. What a play there by Jake Roof, breaking off the third in deep coverage, coming across the middle, breaking that up. Almost got the interception there. Fenville with the decision here on fourth and 10 at midfield. And Peterson's pass once again is incomplete, and it's going to be Blue Devil football. They're going to start at their own 48-yard line. Pressure 
for the Blue Devils from 21, DJ Hearns. Great job by Turns there, just chasing down the backside. Peterson couldn't get a chance to set his feet there. Turnover on downs. Blue Devils take over at midfield. Eight fifty-four left in the second quarter. Blue Devils lead twenty-three zero. Twenty-one DJ Hearns goes in motion, and the ball carrier for Lawton. Tackled by Ben Peterson. Flag on the play. Indication is a personal foul called against Fenville. That'll be 15 added on to the end of the play. First down and 10 at the 29-yard line. Number 20, Carter Cosby, the ball carrier, near the 20-yard line. Tackle by Dylan Scutt. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Hearns, the ball carrier. Hearns tackled by 13, Carlos Sanchez. That play good for a Blue Devil first down. Nine-yard gain for Hearns, first and 10 at the 12-yard line for the Blue Devils. Modders pass incomplete. Pass intended for Holloway. Second down and 10 from the 12 yard line. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Number 20, Carter Cosby with a 12-yard touchdown run for the Blue Devils. Sophomore Carter Cosby with his first varsity touchdown. Carter Cosby from 12 yards out. The 
The conversion try this time, no good. Incomplete pass. 7.54 to go before the half. The score now, the Blue Devils 29 and Fenville 0. Twelve play, forty-eight yard drive, capped off by a Carter Cosby twelve yard touchdown run. Kicking off this time for the Blue Devils, number thirty-three, Ethan O'Donnell. Deep to receive Dylan Scutt and Brody Peterson. Kick covered up by the Blackhawks inside of their 30-yard line. Fenville back in offense, first down and 10. First and 10 Blackhawks starting at their own 28. Hand off to Scutt. Tackle by 60, Dominic Pickett for the Blue Devils. Loss of a yard in the play, second and 11. Peterson's pass complete to 11, Tyler Scutt. Lawton tackled by three, Connor DeVries. Gain of about 10 in the play, third and one, Blackhawks. That was a really good job there by Fenville quarterback Peterson. He stepped right in, took the hit, delivered the throw on the money to shut there. Timeout of the field. Timeout called by Fenville, their first.
Just another update from the area. Gasopolis leads Hartford 21 zip. Quick little pop pass complete to number three, Brody Peterson. Lawton tackle by eight, Bryce Gerenshin. Fenville first down in Blue Devil territory. Ball spotted at the 46-yard line. Another update from Schoolcraft, where Schoolcraft leads 21 to seven. Constantine just cut that by scoring a uh, seven yard touchdown drive. 21-7 Schoolcraft, still in the first half. Toss to number one, Dylan Scott. Tackle by 23, Cooper Guide for the Blue Devils. Three yard pickup, second and seven Blackhawks. Fenville's pass was complete, and there was a fumble in the play scooped up by the Blue Devils, number three, Connor DeVries. Tackle by Dylan Scutt. DeVries with the fumble, recovery, and the return. It'll be Blue Devil football first and ten. Modders pass complete. Reeled in by number 12, Jonathan Holloway at a Blue Devil first down. What a back sh 24 yards from Modder to Holloway first and goal at the three yard line. What a throw there from Landon Modder. The back shoulder not quite in. Jonathan Holloway goes up, gets it. First and goal, Blue Devils. Modder the ball carrier down to about the one yard line. Tackled there by number one, Dylan Scutt. Second and goal. Touchdown, Blue Devils. One yard touchdown plunge for the quarterback, number nine, Landon Modder. In for the extra point attempt, 33, O'Donnell. O'Donnell's extra point is good. 4.14 to go 
In the second quarter, the Blue Devils 36 and Fenville 0. We did have a, a purple hat and gloves turned into the press box, so if you are missing your CC, purple hat and gloves, come up into the press box and claim that. After that fumble recovery return set up by DeVries, that was a three-play, 27-yard drive set up by a 24-yard pass from Motter to Holloway. Motter tops that off with a one-yard plunge. Blue Devils, 36. Fenville, Kicking off 0. 33, O'Donnell. 14 left in the second quarter. Seventeen strict fade and returns for the Blackhawks. Tackle by sixteen, Daryl Northrup. Fenville first down and 10 at its own 40-yard line. Swing pass complete to 13, Sanchez. Brought down by number three, Connor DeVries for the Blue Devils. Gain of three, second and seven at the 43-yard line. Pass broken up for the Blue Devils. Batted down by number two, Zach Dowling. Incomplete, third and seven. Great job there by Dowling. Not going through him, going over the top, reaching around, knocking that down. Great job there by Dowling. Peterson's pass complete to Scott. Lawton tackled by Dowling. Fenville first down. Ball spotted at the 35-yard line. 23-yard pass play for the Blackhawks. Ball comes out and it's covered by the Blue Devils. Pass recovered by Pickett. Correction, the fumble recovered by Pickett.
And it is confirmed fumble recovery covered up by the Blue Devils. It'll be Lawton football. Roof, the ball carrier. Dylan Scott on the tackle. Gain of four, second and six, Blue Devils. Modder's pass this time falls incomplete. Intended for Guybe. Third down and six, Blue Devils. Motter incomplete. It'll be fourth down for the Blue Devils, fourth and six from their own 44-yard line. Fourth and six, Blue Devils into punt formation, 88 Chase Mitchell. And Mitchell's punt is going to roll dead all the way down inside of the 10 near about the 6-yard line. About a 49-yard punt for Chase Mitchell, Fenville, first down and 10. Blackhawks start this possession at their own 7-yard line. Peterson on the keeper, hit behind the line of scrimmage for a loss on the play. Leading the defensive charge for the Blue Devils, 60 picket for the Blue Devils. Loss of about four, second and 14 from the three-yard line. Peterson goes down for Fenville. Tackle by Cosby and Pickett. Call it no gain on the play, third and 14.
And that does bring an end to the first half of play. Your halftime score, the Lawton Blue Devils 36, the Fenville Blackhawks 0. And a reminder, folks, reminder at halftime that if you do leave the stadium, there is no re-entry. So, again, if you're planning on coming back, you may not leave the stadium at the half.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here at Packer Armstrong Field at beautiful Lawton, Michigan. Uh, we're going to take a look at our halftime stats at the current moment. Um, we have our team stats up on the screen there. Uh, I'm going to let my main color commentary guy, Eric Smith, chime in here. Yeah, good first half there for the Blue Devils. Motter was 2 of 7 for 60 yards through the air. Connor DeVries, one of those receptions for 36 yards. Jonathan Holloway, one of the, the other for 24 yards. Big first half for Jake Roof. 11 rushes, 68 yards, and three touchdowns. Cooper Guy, 5 for 35 yards on the ground. Carter Cosby, four rushes for 27 yards. DJ Hearn picked up two jet sweeps there, two carries for 23 yards. And Landon Motter, four rushes for 19 yards and a touchdown as well. I missed Carter Cosby there when he went four for 27. He also had one of the touchdowns sprinkled in there. Mike, anything jump off the page to you there? You know, when you look at those team stats, Eric, really the average yards per play, a lot in dialing in at seven and uh, Fenville coming at 1.6. You know, also when you look down at the sacks, man, sacks, negative 41 yards on four sacks. That's, that's huge loss. That's tough to overcome for any offense, obviously. Yeah, and, and that's the big part of holding Fenville to 49 yards there on 30 total plays. Blue Devils, when you look at total plays, it just jumps off the page at 232 yards of total offense in that first half. And you're right, averaging seven yards a play in that first half there. You know what, obviously though, you look. let's give Fenville some props here. They got some athletes, the, the Shutt brothers and they got another set of brothers there. Um, they got some good athletes. They play a good football team. Yeah, yeah. Fenville are very impressive athletes on the field there. Um, and you, you can tell in the spread, they're going to give some teams some trouble this year. Blue Devils just, I think, up front just kind of were able to control the line of scrimmage. And that probably, to me, is what jumps off the page. The line of scrimmage play, I think we dominated. We ran the football really well there. And then just were able to pressure Peterson. He just didn't look comfortable all night. Um, on the couple throws, he could set his feet. Awfully impressive kid there at quarterback, only a sophomore. But, um, yeah, Blue Devils at the line, awfully tough tonight in the first half. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to, uh, to beat a team when they return their entire offensive line from the year before. So young kids have, have had a chance to grow. you got some senior leaders on the line as well. It's, it's, it's impressive to watch that line do some work. Yeah, yeah, five returning starters on the offensive line for the Blue Devils. Uh, wealth of experience there. And uh, some new faces on defense, but I think uh, you could see that um, got t tested a little bit there in a few spots, but kind of held strong uh, and got some drive st stop there. Uh, looks like uh, they're headed back out, so we'll get ready for the second half here.
As we start the second half, the Blue Devils will be kicking off to Fenville. Kicking off for Lawton, 33, Ethan O'Donnell. And deep to receive, Dylan Scott and Brody Peterson. Dylan Scott, the return man for the Blackhawks. Special teams tackle for 60, Dominic Pickett. Fenville starts the drive at their own 32-yard line. Ben Peterson's pass is incomplete. Flag on the play. Personal foul for roughing the passer called on the Blue Devils. First and 10 for the Blackhawks from their own 45-yard line after the Lawton penalty. Play blown up in the backfield by the Blue Devils. Peterson, the ball carrier. Pickett, along with 78, Ethan Johnson. Loss of four, second and 14. Pass caught by 11, Tyler Scutt. He'll carry into Blue Devil territory and pick up a Fenville first down. Tackle by 22, Jake Roof. Blackhawks at the Blue Devil 44-yard line. Pass incomplete. Batted out of the sky for the Blue Devils by number two, Zach Dowling. Incomplete pass. Second down and ten for the Blackhawks. Just a couple games in the area. Centerville, 44, Decatur, 0, third quarter. Locked at a dead all tie, 0-0. Zero, zero. Parchment and Saugatuck all nodded at 0 at halftime. Peterson complete to Scott. Scott to the, about the 41-yard line.
tackle by Dowling and Hearns. Touchdown, Fenville. 40 or one yard touchdown reception for number three, Brody Peterson from Ben Peterson for the Fenville score. The extra point from Ben Peterson is up, and it is good. 7.29 to go in the third quarter. The Blue Devils 36 and Fenville 7. Impressive drive on Fenville's opening possession of the second half there. They went six plays, 68 yards, capped off by a 41-yard touchdown pass from Peterson to Peterson. Extra point was good. 36-7 Blue Devils, 7.29 left in the third. Deep for the Blue Devils, 23 Cooper Guy and 21 DJ Hearns. Kicking off number two, Peterson. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Cooper Guy scoops it up and returns all the way out to the midfield stripe. Saving tackle by number two, Ben Peterson. What a job there by Cooper Guy on that kickoff. Ball sailed over his head, picked it up, found a hole right up the middle. 50 yards on that return by Cooper Guy. Guy with the ball carrier for the Blue Devils. Tackled by number three, Brody Peterson. Cooper Guy finds a seam and picks up a Blue Devil fir first down. 13-yard gain to the 37-yard line. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Number 20, Carter Cosby. 37-yard touchdown run for the Blue Devils.
Extra point from Ethan O'Donnell is good. And the Blue Devils extend their lead 6.52 to go in the third quarter. Lawton 43 and Fenville 7. And the Blue Devils answer, answer right back in a quick three-play drive going 50 yards. Carter Cosby from 37 yards out. Extra point is good by O'Donnell. 43-7 Blue Devils. 6.52 left. Kicking off 33, O'Donnell. Deep for the Blackhawks, Scott and Peterson. Tyler Scott returns for the Blackhawks. Special teams tackle for Lawton, 23, Cooper Geib. Fenville first down and 10 just inside of their own 28-yard line. The quarterback, Peterson, hangs on to it, hit the backfield for a loss. Tackle behind the line, 88, Chase Mitchell for the Blue Devils. Loss of four in the play, second and 14, Fenville. Pass broken up and incomplete. Pass broken up by number 12, Holloway for the Blue Devils. Third and 14, Fenville. Flag on the play. False start on Fenville. It'll be third down and 19 for the Blackhawks. Quick little pop pass once again to number one, Scott. Lawton tackled number three, Connor DeVries. Eight yard pickup. Fourth and 11 for the Blackhawks.
Deep to receive the punt, DeVries. In the punt formation for Fenville, Dylan Scutt. And the punt is going to be blown dead just outside of the 38-yard line. Quick score update from Schoolcraft. The Eagles lead the Constantine Falcons 35-7 in the third quarter. Cosby, the ball carrier. Tackle by Scott. One yard pickup, second and nine. There's a fumble on the play. Ball recovered by the Blue Devils. Covered up by Carter Cosby. Third down and ten, Blue Devils. Modders pass complete over the seam to number eight, Bryce Gerenshin. And a Blue Devil first down. Fenville tackle by Strickfaden. Great pass by Modder there as Gerenshin streaks straight down the middle of the field. And that'll end the third. That'll bring an end to the third quarter. After three quarters, from Packer Armstrong Field, your score, the Blue Devils 43 and Fenville 7. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we introduce to you the Lawton Blue Devil cheer team. Ileana V. Hill. Gemini Curtis. Riley Oxley. Michaela Reynolds. Cassandra Salgado. Michaela Staunton, Kiara Banks, Ashley Waite, Reese Olson, Naomi Barkalo, and Natalie Am. The Blue Devil Cheer Team coach is Holly James. And fans, this reminder that at the conclusion of tonight's contest, we ask that all spectators leave the stadium immediately. This season, there will be no gatherings or tunnels to greet the teams as they leave the field, and we thank you for your cooperation.
Start of the fourth, first and ten Blue Devils at the Fenville 20-yard line. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Number 21, D.J. Hearns. 20-yard touchdown, Blue Devils. O'Donnell for the extra point attempt. The extra point from O'Donnell is up and it is good. Score now the Blue Devils 50 and Fenville 7. That drive for the Blue Devils was a four-play, 62-yard drive after the big pass to Gretchen from Mater, a 20-yard touchdown run by D.J. Hearns. 11.54 left. The Blue Devils lead 50-7. to seven. Kicking off 33, O'Donnell. Scott returns for the Blackhawks. Tackled by Hearns for the Blue Devils. Fenville first down and 10. They start at the 20-yard line. Scott, the ball carrier. Short gain on the play. Tackle by 21 Hearns for the Blue Devils. Gain of one on the play, second and nine. Screen pass complete along the left sideline to Sanchez. Bumped out by number 12, Holloway. Four yard gain, third and five, Fenville.
The snap initially fumbled by Ben Peterson, picks it up and throws to Brody Peterson. He'll pick up a Fenville first down. Tackle by Carter Cosby for the Blue Devils. Pass is incomplete. Second down and 10, Fenville at their own 49-yard line. Scott, the ball carrier, tackled behind the line by the Blue Devils. 78, Ethan Johnson on the stop for the Blue Devils. Third and 12, Fenville. 